Welcome back to Anderton's TV. Thank you for watching and tuning in again. Yes. Um, and if I have to say something initially, please like and subscribe and 
you know, hit yes, the notification hit the bell. bell, do all that stuff, please. So, uh, 2021, I mean, hey, it's well into 2021 now, but uh, we've just received the new Duesenberg guitars uh, for this year. Um, and we're having a lot of fun, and we're going to tell you a little bit more about them in between our customary jams. Yeah. Um, but it would be improper, I think, for us to start anywhere other than that delicious and wonderful looking. And does this man, does this man's talents have no <laughs> boundaries? Well, you, you say like that. He plays the guitar, he plays the bass, he plays a bit of drums, he plays the keyboards. He uh, plays the castanets. <laughs> uh, Is that castanets? And, castanet, uh, and the purple flute. Uh, yes. Uh, but a meat what, faggot. What have we got here, <laughs> Mr. Pete? Well, this is the uh, fairy tale lap steel uh, from Duesenberg, which I have always admired on pictures, but never seen up close. I've always wanted a lap steel because I've got some friends uh, back in Denmark which are incredible at it, and I know how much work you have to put into it. What um, is the difference, Mr. Pete, between a lap steel and a pedal steel? Well, see, lap steel is a uh, sits on your lap. Yes. And a pedal steel sits on here, and you've got pedals that effectively does what these things do here. Right. And some uh, pedal steels has like three layers. Right. Wow. Which are, so they'll so be like tuned more in, strings and they'll be tuned tunings. in different tunings, uh, okay. and then and then you can like I've seen people having they can do two feet at the same time. I mean, I mean, so it's just say, incredible. Would you it's say that the, the, the lap steel isn't that different to playing a normal guitar in the sense other than positionally where you put it? I mean, it's obviously a bit different. I mean, you, yeah. So the strings, as you can see, uh, oh, I apologize for if there's any lap steel players watching this. I'm not a virtuoso, I would love to be, but I'm not. But who, to those who don't know, is that the strings are very high. And, oh, yeah. and so I can literally get my finger underneath here. So that's it's how- like my first the, ever electric guitar. <laughs> exactly, it looks like the first electric guitar I ever had. Uh, and you have to basically, um, you know, a lot of people use these finger picks on the, on the fingers, so they have got these things that goes out and then they, mm -hmm. they can do that. Then you have to use a bar or, uh, or, or a slide. This one is like a, a steel, it's like a bar, it's like, a, really heavy mm -hmm. piece of metal that literally sits on top and then of course it's tuned in an open D so you have to kind of know where those things are on the fret. but it's quite similarly done so you got first fret 12th fret and then 24th fret so it's like but a guitar the, but you're looking at down but the open it. tunings would be if you're if you if you're familiar with open tunings for just normal slide playing they're the same absolutely tunings, yeah right? okay. i mean you can still tune this in in, in various uh in various tunings i can imagine you know if you want a a, 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 a dad gat or something you can do that of course yeah. um so this is made out of a it's a corina body on it's got a maple cap here on the on the headstock of course it's a headstock that goes on from from the other Duesenbergs uh, with all of the amazing logos and everything on there. Uh, when I turn it around, if I turn it over, it's got these very soft, um, non-slip slidey things. And it's got a cool little, I noticed that it's, lo it's almost like a little knob that sits there so you can't break the headstock off, I would imagine. Oh, you think it's like a safety feature? Yeah, so it? when it's sitting down on the floor, it's, oh. of course, it'll become that will be on the floor, so it can't break off, which is super duper cool. Uh, it's got um, a the knot is rolling, so when you're tuning it, the it kind of rolls back and forth. Of course, when you use the B bender, which we we'll get to in a minute, down here, it's really cool. Um, it's easier to tune, and then of course you've got this uh, Duesenberg's um, built-in capo. That's so. Cool, Isn't that cool? Man. So you, this, I'll see if I can demonstrate. That's say that's all it is. So you go up to here, and Again, you then we're, we're not lap it down. steel experts, but from what I understand from from Duesenberg, that's not something that you get on other. There's lap a lot steels. of stuff exactly. There's a lot of stuff on here that you don't get on normal lap steels. I mean, if I've seen a lap steel, say like a Gretz on every phone or something like that, there there will be one pickup on it. There will be one knob, maybe a tone knob, and all of this other stuff just won't be there. You know, you 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 won't get the B benders and and all this different stuff. But this is very handy. So if you I, are, I am, if you want to, I just want to say something now for for Duncan who does some of the sort of you know editing on, on YouTube. Uh, I've spoken to uh, Jed, who's our guitar buyer here, to say, off the back of doing this video, 
I think these lap steels are so cool. But the Duesenberg one's quite a professional instrument with a sort of, you know, a, a professional price. Uh, yeah. There are some more affordable ones. So links below, let's get a special link to where you can just go and see all the lap steels that we sell at the moment. Because yeah. I'm convinced I've seen some down at more like four or five hundred. Absolutely. Pounds. And you know, so, and it's a hey. And and also as when we when we spoke to the guys Duesenberg earlier, they, they were mentioning that they this is one of the most popular things they even oh, do. They you did. Know? Uh, and 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 it's been much more popular since lockdown. And I was thinking, as I was saying, it's like probably if mm. there's been guitar players sitting at home, if I, if I didn't have this and I had to go to, to work and do this, I would have gone, okay, I play guitar, but what can I learn that is a little bit guitar-y yeah. but not? I would absolutely yeah. have got one of these. He didn't just say it had been quite popular over the last, he said no, that's their this, best selling yeah. model of the last 12 months, yeah. which is crazy. Which is in, I mean, insane. But I, having, been this close to it now. I haven't, had a, I haven't even had a go on it yet, no. which, which I'll do when we're finished. Yeah, yeah. I'm into it. It's, it's cool. So, yeah. Um, so the pickups we can talk about in a minute, but these are the uh, Split King pickups. Maybe you can explain that in a minute. I'm yeah. just going to go through quickly. Um, you've got a three-way selector switch here, which uh, is the normal like uh, bridge, both and and the neck. <laughs> it's funny to say because it's like sitting on your lap, <laughs> so it's like different. But it's the bridge, and it is the neck, I guess. Then you've got a volume here, you've got a split for each uh, of the pickups, and then you've got this kind of speed knob, which is a literally from here, there in 70 degrees. So it's a 70 degrees, um, I don't know what, that's well, how, like if, that's, it's if, like a centimeter. If like, 360 but, degrees is all the way around, yeah. and a normal volume control would do the full 360 degrees yeah. to go from full to zero. Yeah. This that's one goes like... from full to zero in 70 degrees. Yeah. That's kind of... So don't, you can... don't touch, it's a bit hot. <laughs> <laughs> so it's really, so apparently, um, which I can, there's a, there is a guy apparently on uh, YouTube who does lap steel video uh, demo, uh, lessons, which I'm probably going to go and watch now, but uh, he's got one of these and it's uh, something to do with... So you can get to you get loads of tones uh, quickly. Then you've got the the B bender, which is an an, an amazing thing. So you notice there's got, they've got two little what are they like little fingers, little arms on here? Yeah. Just like and they're little. attached uh, to the to the oh, no, it's not it's tuned in a different, but we'll call it B and the G string. <laughs> so if you, for instance, want to go like. Or you want to go? It's a country thing. It's isn't such it, a country. It's like. Or you can go the. You can get like the sauce feeling. And it's cool because these basically are attached. So the string goes through the little, um, the little knot here, and the, the the saddle is not the saddle. What is this? That that's where the string goes through, and the string then goes f even further through, and then it goes through this, and then it's a little spring that lift, lifts up the the. The, the the string it's basically just it's like a tremolo, it's like arm, a tremolo really, arm basically yeah. but it doesn't go backwards yeah and you can set these so it can does it can do half a note or a whole note or so you can get minor you know you can well, get that, the minor thing that's what um, you're saying so as what i thought was crazy was as, as well as each of those being you know a, a customizable what pitch yeah you can have is it five on there? you're gonna have five so you can five. put five on here that's and you can see these little arms will then you know they can they can sort of adjust however you want it um, and also you can get this because Duesenberg makes all of the hardware that you see the tuner packs and, and, and everything they make themselves. So you can buy this as an aftermarket thing for like a telecaster. So like Joey Landon, for instance, got a B bender on his. You can buy that bridge uh, you can, for a telecaster. You can, you can, you can stick a B bender on a tele, for instance. Thanks, so you got. Wicked. So you can get that, you know, or you can have, you can have five on here, you know. So actually. That's got to be in my for, mind. Doing that for a B-Bender has got to be a lot easier than doing that with the... Because if you've ever seen a traditional B-Bender, it's, it's linked to the strap button, yeah, isn't it? And there's a big through, mechanical it, thing yeah. through here. But I mean, yeah. that probably depends on, on how you're playing it, you know. But it's... I mean, that is such a classic... Uh... I love 
love it. And they're it's just great. normal electric guitar strings. So, no, these are so Duesenberg makes their own strings. So they're right. aware of that. Um, these are much heavier. So I think it's like a 16 with a wound G, uh, which is not a G, depending on how. If you want to tune it to, a, you know, an E, I can imagine you can. This is D. Um, so yeah, so they're quite heavier. Um, and of course, that this is super heavy to hold. So you ha you have to get used to all that. So here's here's the, this is the this is the bridge really quick. And that's the full humbugger. So that's the humbugger, so I'm gonna split it with this. Anyway, I'm not great at it. Uh, here's the two uh, together. And then of course I can split it one of the other. neck. I had this little uh, magma uh, on with a bit of and the light pedal so you get some It's science, man, and man, I would, I would love so to. Cool. And it's, I would love to learn it properly because it is, when it's played well, it's just a ma magnificent well, speaking instrument. Speaking of playing well, I've got to yeah. give a shout out to a, um, a old friend of mine who we've had on as a guest once on Anderson's TV, but a guy called Martin Harley. That's yeah. Who basically he plays lap steel and slide yeah. kind of all the time. Robbie McIntosh as well. Cool. Yes, I spoke to Robbie yesterday. Yeah, he sent anyway, messages um, out and say hello yeah, to everybody. Go and, just check out Martin Harley on, on Apple Music or Spotify or YouTube yeah. or whatever. Uh, he is wicked. Yeah. So uh, if you are a guitar player... Sorry, go on. Sorry. sorry well, sorry. I was going to say, because, of course, Pete's just plugged into the same amp and yeah, using yeah. the same pedals he would normally use for his electric guitar. Yeah. So it, it is, you know, it's a great product for like a, an electric guitar kind of enthusiast that's just going, right, where do I go next? Maybe I tried the mandolin and it was cool. And maybe I tried the banjo and it was cool, but I don't want to try something else. Lap steel, man. Yeah, I actually think, a, if anything, I like the noise that a lap steel makes more than a mandolin or a it's, banjo. Yeah, but it's such a. <laughs> as it, I mean, we've got the origin effects on uh, on the floor to get to give that compression type thing. So when you so it cut, it's a compressor, it kind of keeps it going. You know? I like it. It's the, uh, it's the um, Looney Tunes thing where you go. That's, Copyright I've always, yeah, that, I've always <laughs> known how to play that one. That's so anyway, great. so it's a wonderful instrument. So there we go. It's not cheap, but there will be a link below for this. No. Um, right. Now I played this guitar in the first jam, uh, which is uh, a, a kind of a new model uh, called the Senior, the Duesenberg Senior. I say kind of new because they're in the past they have done this sort of single pickup um, arch top single cut kind of vibe, uh, but not quite in this format and certainly not with this pickup. But what I need to do before I go into too much detail on this one is pick this one up because oh. this is the reason that this exists. So um, Jeff DeRosa of the Dropkicks uh, is a Duesenberg artist <laughs> and he uh, was working with the guys at Duesenberg to create a signature guitar for himself. And he wanted to go back to an old single pickup model from um, that Duesenberg had done in the past. So uh, let me go through the, the basic spec. So it is a chambered body, very lightweight chambered body, single cut design with an arch top. Um, we've got a wraparound tailpiece, but it's a very, you know, modern design tailpiece. So you, you've absolutely got the, the individual uh, movable saddles, as well as being able to sort of, you know, pivot the whole bridge if you want to, like in the old fashioned way. Um, the Split King I will come to in a minute yeah. and you'll be forgiven for thinking that this doesn't have a, a humbucker in it because of the crazy sort of, you know, casing clever. it is, but, it, but it actually guys. has the same pickups that's on, on the lap steel and on the Falcon. Yeah. Uh, Rosewood board, um, kind of a slim shaped neck, but anyway, I would, I want to get into where does this come about? So Jeff was saying what he wanted was a single cut, single pickup guitar like this 
that he could use both live and in the studio. And he had a slightly unusual request. Mm. In that he was saying in the studio, he tends to use single coil pickups. Live, he tends to use humbucking pickups. And that was where the Split King idea came from for Duesenberg. So Well, they've worked on that for a while, hadn't they? To try yeah, to get, sorry, I that, mean, like everybody works on the perfect yeah. split, but so, actually this is completely different. Yeah, so when I say, that it wasn't Jeff DeRosa's idea, but what I mean is that was kind of why he decided he wanted that yeah. in his guitar. Um, might be easier if you, if you pass yeah. me the Falcon, actually. Absolutely, just here's the we Falcon. Can see it's the two flying coils. straight over to you, there you go. So, now, every <laughs> guitar manufacturer at some point or other over the last <laughs> yeah. 10 years has probably claimed that, you know, they've taken the humbucker design and they've split it, but they've nailed the single coil sound. Yeah. And you've heard Pete and I say many, many times, like, no, you haven't, no, you haven't. It's like yeah. the only guy I think that we think's got close has been, yeah, PRS with the um, Paul's, Paul's guitar TCI. and TCI yeah. circuits. And I think in fairness, Fender, with their, uh, what's the humbucker that they do, the, the double tap humbucker, yeah. which I think again is a good one. But by and large, for us, no one really does a great split sound on a humbucker. Yeah. So uh, the guys at Duesenberg went, well, why don't we come at this from another angle? Why don't we start with a single coil? So a normal full fat sounding single coil yeah. and add a secondary coil that works with it to make it a humbucker. Yeah. So now I'm again not going to try and go into the science or the engineering, but that's what the Split King pickup is. It's not a humbucker first that you split to a single coil. It's a single coil first that you add in the extra coil to give you the fatter sound. Yeah. So that that's the science behind it. Yeah. Um, in here underneath this crazy fat and glorious, it's a bit like a gold foil I kind of vibe, it. isn't it? I love is it. a Split King pickup. However. Jeff also wanted, in addition to the idea of full humbucker, single coil, what he wanted was an in-between sound. So I, I, I don't really know what the jargon is for that in-between sound, but it's basically in between the, the single <laughs> coil and, and the full humbucker. Uh, so uh, the only other difference on this guitar, um, I mean, this is so beautiful. Look oh, at the, the color. The color is stunning, man. That was a color they used before as well, wasn't yeah. it? Yes, it's, yeah. um, can't remember what it's called, Cad Cadillac. Can't remember. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, beautiful, beautiful colour. Yeah. You've got stunning, this stunning. banjo arm rest on here, which, you know, I'm, I mean, I personally just think it looks incredible, but perhaps it does serve a purpose to make it a little bit more comfy to play. It's got the speed knob, so volume goes from, you know, 0 to 60 in... In 70 degrees. Yeah, hardly any <laughs> movement at all. Uh, it's got slightly different inlays. You've got this sort of Duesenberg uh, three-way sort of inlays on here as opposed to the dots. Uh, but other than that, it's it's basically the same, sort of that still the same chain with guitar. Magnificent um, colours. I'll give you a bonus point if you spot the fact that the screws on the, um, the adjustment screws on the tailpiece are very slightly different on this one to this one. I couldn't get 100% confirmation from Duesenberg as to why that was. It, it is the same bridge, the holes are the same. Mm. Um, I got the general consensus that Jeff just didn't like the fact that the two screws stuck out. So he's gone from Aesthetic. some recessed ones that require a smaller Allen key to yeah. adjust, but it's the same bridge. And if you'd rather have these than those, or you'd rather have those than these, I'm sure Duesenberg can sort you out. It's only a couple of grub screws. But anyway. you could still adjust it, couldn't you? You could still adjust all of the individual saddles yeah, so to, the, to be in to, you to could, intonation. You could argue that this, these are actually even pointless having them on because the bridge stays in place through the tension of the strings. Yeah. And you just, and then you've got your normal saddle yeah. adjustments like you would on a yeah. normal tune. I think matter. it looks pretty cool with those sticking out. It's like rock yeah, and roll. I like don't a... know. I think I, I'm with Jeff. I'm just ah, saying. I like it without. You so, and Jeff. You and Jeff. Let's oh, give you, you some sounds. I should really start with the single coil, shouldn't I? So rather than start with the bucker and then split yes, it, yes, I should yes, start. Yes, 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 yes. So, single coils, there we go. Full humbuckers.
Now, mm. I think we could very quickly go down a rabbit hole here as to whether or not we think it's genuinely better than anything else, but... <laughs> Well, in, it's for, to find out that we would have to have two different guitars, one with yeah. the humbugger in the, in the bridge and in the neck, yeah. uh, sorry, in the bridge, and one with the single coil to I'm actually compare them. I'm 100%. bizarrely, again, I'm, uh, you know, I think one of the reasons it's harder to hear. For me, the single coil sound that you want is the one that's here on the guitar. That's, that's when I have a humbucker at the neck of the guitar and you yeah. split, you go, it just isn't that big neck Unless sound. it's a Telecaster. Because that's much more... You know, but that's what I mean. If you the bridge, I'm thinking about. So the I'm kind of then. thinking that you know your single coil at the bridge is yeah. always going to be a bit spiky. It's still Agreed. pretty fat actually when you think yeah. that it's you know. Anyway, humbucker, and then this kind of in between. And yeah. the the coolest coolest. Pick up select a knob. It's act, an actual fact where it is if you're sitting down. I'm kind of slightly worried that my, the, you know, my leg is going to push it, but it, but it hasn't. So no, perhaps it's a rock, it, it has a stand up rock guitar. It's a stand there. up rock guitar, isn't, isn't it? it? Actually, is it, is it noise cancelling as well? Yeah. No. no, look, you've got the hum. I yeah, more, your hum is a single, put, as a single hum. So hit gain, single coil, gain, hum. There you go. Oh, yeah. I, I, put, I put loads of gain on there just for the sake of it. Oh. So that is the senior, and I'll tell you why it's called the senior. Oh, I was just because, ask. of course, <laughs> someone else did something similar called a junior. So these guys, you know. It's a bit more senior. It's, it's a, a bit grown more senior. up, isn't it? Lee? It's yeah. like uh, it's like I say I have senior moments fairly regularly at the moment. So uh, I didn't. Sorry, I didn't. I wasn't yeah, paying exactly. attention. <laughs> uh, there we but go. So look, that, that's basically these two guitars. Thank you, Pete. Yes, take us to the next one. Right. So Lee, this is um, the mighty Tom Bukavac um, signature, Duesenberg. Uh, if you don't know Tom, he is a Nashville session Mr. man. Mr. Session, session Man. He's played with absolutely everyone. He's played with, uh, on everybody's album. You know, you can go on and have a look. Who who hasn't he played with? Um, and he's got, he, during lockdown, he started a YouTube channel where he did this homeschooling. And it became really popular. And he's just talking about loads of stuff. And I think it's just like a YouTube, he just uses his phone. But his playing and, and what he plays and how he talks about Everything is just so. I, I've it, got to be honest with you. I, I, you know, it's like he. Someone said to me uh, probably six months ago, "Are you watching any of this Tom Bukovac um, YouTube stuff?" Yeah, yeah homeschooling. And, I, and I'm just like, who? I'm, I, I'm not. I'm not. Don't know who he is. It's like yeah. I'll check it out. And the and the, like clearly a great player on YouTube. A great player and doing some cool stuff and some and the the, the homeschooling stuff's a good channel. Yeah. I still didn't really know. You know. As far as I'm concerned, he's just another YouTuber. Yeah. And then literally for doing the research for, well, re research <laughs> uh, for this, well, I'm on the sort of Tom Bukovac uh, Wikipedia page and it's like, Guitarist of the Year, Nashville Guitarist of the Year, Guitarist of the Year, yeah, yeah. Guitarist of the Year. It's nominee, like, nominee, uh, one winner, winner. Every single person there ever is yeah. ever. And you, you are a bit like, fair play. Yeah. He's clearly, uh, he's clearly a, a serious, serious player. He's a serious player. <laughs> uh, and he, you know, he's been a Duesenberg user for a long time. And they were like, well, we think it's time to do something with you. So so they so they did this. This is a um it's a solid maple guitar basically. It's got a flame maple neck, flame maple back and sides. Uh I mean that's a beautiful isn't it? flamey neck. Yeah. Um it's got the open gear tuners which I absolutely love. I love all the aesthetics of the Duesenbergs where they've got these little three layers, very art deco so that, that you see the three layers on the headstock boom 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 like that. It goes it comes again here in the tuners, in the tuner pegs. And again, in the um, it, it go, it's just it's just everything is just yeah. you know super cool. The D logo, uh, the D logo has got the three little um, what do you call cool. that? Three little lines or little sort of levels, you would say. Um, it's a semi hollow guitar. It's got a rosewood board on it. Um, it's got the Grand Vintage humbuggers in here, so not 
is not using it's the only one humbuckers, full yeah. fat humbuckers is not using the, um, the split kings and you've got a three-way selector switch um, some aesthetics if you might notice it's the this guitar comes from the uh, star player TV plus um, which has got the piazza pickup on the hill. I never realized that I don't I, we again, haven't had many of them. ignorance. I've, I'm very familiar with the Star Player. Yeah, uh, I love it. But I didn't realize the, pl the what made the plus the plus was the fact that it had the piazzo on yeah. the bridge. Yeah, which is all. This is all uh, um, passive system, so there's no batteries or anything in here anywhere. And again, this is Duesenberg's own uh, pickup. So we'll, we'll take that. But we'll that, take and a look that is. Here. So Tom's main doozy is the Star Player Plus. Oh, I'm, I'm not sure, but no, that's, oh, it is. Yeah, oh, that's that what is. it is. But okay. The, the problem with the plus, or problem as such, is you yeah. can't turn the piazza off. Oh, that's right. That's that's so. That's right. His this is essentially so that's why, why this is a bit I'm different. Gonna, I'm going to show you. And also uh, for the eagle-eyed viewer out there, you can see that they've removed this uh, chrome bar here because he does a lot of finger picking. So they took that away, so to make it a bit easier. Now, here's the interesting bit. It's a little switch here which basically turns on the, um, the Piazza pickup here. You've got the three-way selector switch, which runs completely like normal, uh, volume completely like normal. Then the tone control is not normal. So there's a little uh, detente there. And what that does is when I turn it all the way down, tone is all the way off. And when I turn it up to the detente, the tone is all the way up. And then when I turn it from, from the detente and the other way around, the, it blends in the uh, piazza pickup, piazza pickup so, underneath. So if you're on the detente, yeah, detente. The, pia the, the guitar, the humbucker is like full tone, but full there's tone. no piazza. No piazza. And then as you go above it, right, you blend yeah. in the piazza. Yeah. And, then the, and, then, and then the point with the switch is that if you then blend in the, the, the set amount of piazza you want in mm -hmm. uh, on a certain tone, you leave it there. And then you can turn on and off your piazza pickup as and when you so please. So it's very clever. Um, of course, it got the Duesenberg trim, which is the best trims, in my opinion, ever. So if and if you don't have a Duesenberg, but you want like a Les Paul, you have a Les Paul or anything with the with three, the two three, five. With three three five. Like on my three three five, I got the Les trim too, which literally just screws comes up. So we'll do we'll do a little we'll I'll, do a little I'll sweep on it. Yeah, I'll do a quick show you. Obviously, it doesn't look. Um, it's, it's not the same. It's not exactly the same, but it's the same spring, so oh, you get the same kind of mechanism, yeah. the same sort of action. Yeah, and but it yeah, literally. We uh, we must sell fifty a month of these tremolo systems because yeah. it, it, they're not expensive. Well, Again, seven, hopefully we can put a link below. Yeah. Um, and they come in gold and chrome and nickel and stuff like that, so you can get a matching one for your guitar. You just unscrew your old tailpiece. You screw this on. Yeah. Uh, boom. You are ready to go. In my in my case, there very badly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this you can see this because it's uh, semi hollow. It is. It's the. Uh, it's got the uh, longer grill here. Um, anyway, uh, and also actually something that we haven't mentioned on any of the other things. These works with your strap locks. So with your shallow strap locks, it goes click straight on there. Oh yeah. So they all work with that. Just mm. in case you've got a strap with those on. Anyway, let's have some tones from this uh, wonderful guitar, and let me just make sure so I set the detente here. Actually, let's do that first. So that's on the detente position. Yeah. Though, so now it's on the detente. So that's, so that's normal just, electric guitar. Yeah. Sound. So normal electric guitar, straight into the amp, no pedals at all. So smooth, uh, and then nothing happens when I then dial it up over the detente. Mm -hmm. got an acoustic guitar with a uh, tremolo it's system. It's quite, <laughs> I mean, I think it's, I feel it's quite subtle and I expect that's because with without the active preamp that you'd normally have on an acoustic guitar, 
the piazzo system won't give a lot of level out so yeah. it almost feels like it needs to be turned up quite high to get but once it's full, it's, it's full up now yeah once it's full up and it's on it genuinely does sound that you've got like a blend of one person playing electric and one person playing acoustic yeah. blended together and it's it's great isn't it put some light pedal a little bit of reverb it's definitely there isn't it Down a bit. That's 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 a, Do you wanna, that's I've very got a cool. trivia question for you here, Pete. Yeah. Can you name the other famous guitar player who had a uh, a Gibson Les Paul with a very similar Fishman power bridge? I think it was called fitted to it, which was essentially the same idea. So you had like your oh, normal two humbuckers, and get, you had like a piazza. Do this there. to me. Don't Come do this on, to trivia me. Trivia quick. Can you no. guys remember who it was? No, I, I, I must admit, I, no. I no, can't, okay, no. well, uh, here's another clue then. It was pretty much the first video I ever did with Rob Chapman. Now can you think who the guitar player is? No, because, no. Still no, not. okay, Slash. It was a Slash? It was a, a Gibson what? Slash signature model from like 2010 or whenever it was, 20, 2009, something like that. And his American Gibson Les Paul had the Fishman Power Bridge in it. And it was actually surprisingly effective wow. with a gain tone. Well, we'll have to try that. Um, I know that um, uh, John Petrucci's got one in his, doesn't yes, he? Yes, yeah, he In some of them. So mm -hmm. it's, not a, it's not a, you know, it's not as a thing that... Oh, and a lot of the uh, PRS guitars have got them built in, haven't they? So, you know, it's a, it's a thing. It's, it's a, a thing. thing. Okay, so let's just... Uh, now I'm just going to go to the middle position here so the two pick up together. Mm. Get that uh, piazza in there. I'm just going to say, Pete. I'm going to. I think it's easy to put too much of that piazza in. Yes. I know we're probably trying to blend it in to make it really obvious what it's doing in the video, but I kind of feel for me to get. I'd probably just want like 10 percent of it or well, something. Let's see just if we to can. Sort of It's also, uh, again, it's like the lap steel. It's kind of a thing that I personally am not really used to. Yeah. So you don't really know kind of what to do with it. Um, Tom, if you're watching. Tom, I'm you please sorry. come to Anderson's <laughs> at, at some point uh, over the next year or two when you're touring. Yes, that would be and, lovely. Uh, and do a proper demo of this guitar for yeah. us so that we, you see what... <laughs> is it like? And then put me to shame, please. <laughs> uh, so... I mean, it plays like any like other music, it's beautiful. What's it like with a bit of gain? Uh, let's just do the bridge first. It definitely, ha it's, it's a thing, isn't it? It's got it? a dobro a sound. With it all the way up, yeah. it's got that biscuit, metallic dobro. Biscuit. <laughs> That's a new tone. It's, we it's had got bucket, the biscuit tone. We've got we the bucket tone, tone and we've got the biscuit tone. tone. What kind of biscuit? Certainly a different, it's a different mm. tone. Well, let's try some gain, as you said.
I mean, for, some I, tones. There's tones. I again, I'm sort of trying to. Maybe I'm thinking, overthinking it, you know. <laughs> but it's it's a beautiful guitar. It plays beautifully, you know. And again, as I say, with all these signature guitars, it's that actually signature guitars are made for the artist, aren't yes, they? Yes, they so are. They might not be something that is for you, but you know, you might be appreciative of a beautiful guitar. But uh, and talking of it, which. There you are. I'm oh, going that. in for the Falcon, not the Millennium Falcon. This is the Duesenberg <laughs> Falcon. Um, I mean, when the photographs of the Duesenberg 2021 range came out, yeah. this is the eye catcher for me. Um, comes in a hardtail and a trim version. If you're familiar with the Paloma, which Pete owns, we have a red, sparkly, stunning looking Paloma hanging up over here. He's gone to get it. You'll recognize the body shape, except of course Slightly it's kind different. of a little bit flipped. Yeah, this, this cutaway is a little different to that one, but you get the idea. It's almost like a flipped oh, sort of Paloma. Guitar. What a cool guitar. Yeah. Um, do you know, we've, we've even got like a flipped headstock as well, haven't we? Compared to the Paloma. Oh right. yeah, it's flipped the other way around. So it, it's, it's a great guitar, uh, stunning guitar. Um, Rosewood board, uh, Split King pickups, puckups, pickups, pick uh, and the Duesenberg tremolo system as well. Um, now the Split Kings on this are like they are on the lap steel. So you've just got a straightforward single coil mode or a humbucker mode. There's no sort of in between mode like there was on this. Um, I mean, uh, I'll play some tones, but before I do that, I've just got to say because we had no idea. But this is this again. This is such a Duesenberg thing. <laughs> I personally, when I've been strumming this, my natural position for my hand to be is probably just over the, the top of the fretboard. I don't I don't feel like I'd want it to be round here, but hey, everybody's different on that front. So I wasn't, I was naturally sort of not really going anywhere near these switches. The guys at Duesenberg said some of the feedback on the prototype models that people's strumming action were going near these switches and so it was kind of annoying. So <laughs> this is super, super cool. These two screws here, are like an elevator for your for your uh, switches. So if you want to, you can screw them in so that just the little teat sticks up above there. It's almost like, you know, you've almost got like got to dig into the scratch plate to be able to switch it. Or you can, you know, top floor, please. Penthouse flat, please. <laughs> top floor, please. You can have them sticking out a bit more. These are kind of screwed in about kind of halfway at the moment. So Isn't that clever? It's pretty isn't cool, isn't clever. it? So, do so it. let's give you some tones, starting with the um, starting with the neck pickup. I listen back to myself playing on videos. I, I'm, I'm overly aggressive with tremolo arms, I find. I need to, to be. To... I mean, it hardly feels like I'm moving it at all, which I love that kind of that it's very... swelly, sort of surfy yeah. sound. I'm going to put more reverb on because. I get lost in this uh, middle. Same again, but now with the upwards position, which is the thinner sound, the, the, the single coil. It's a wonder that my guitars don't all wear out around here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's all I'm ever at. Because you're um, so gentle, touch I'm so that's gentle. Um, gain, I suppose, why not? I mean, not, not too much. I don't, I don't see this as a, like a, it's not, it's not a metal guitar, but.
anyway. Oh, I mean, I kind of feel like time, um, I kind of feel like this is the one I want to spend the most time with, just because yeah, yeah. it's the coolest looking one. I mean, this is very—they're all beautiful, man. Because yeah. anything Dusman does is beautiful. Actually, this, I say is this, this is the this coolest is... looking one. This is the badass color. Yeah. Uh, it's um, wonderful. I'm going to play that out in the end. I think you should. You well, I'm going to play this out at yeah. the end as well. Yeah. Uh, but there we are. That's Duesenberg. Um, yeah. And you know what, Pete? We should Fishy make man. a commitment to revisit a lap steel. Yeah. Just like a lap steel video. Let's get some, some cheap ones. Steel. and some, Well, there's definitely an Epiphone one. I know that. Yeah. We need to get somebody who... I know Paul Waller, our guy in oh, the... Uh, he can play it. So, you know, because I'm rubbish at it, but I'm, I but want I to learn it. A, I like don't, the chucking thing. I mean, A, I don't think you are rubbish on it. And B, <laughs> isn't that half the fun? I mean, that's the whole, like, just... Anyway. It's there like you go. Uh, Healy. Jeff Healy, isn't it? Well, I did, it, yes. But, I mean, he not, played he a lot played on his like, lap. Yeah, but, he played, I mean, but, crikey, you see him playing. Hey, he's got that spanned. That's why you can do that, couldn't you? Another, anyway. another sad loss to the guitar yeah. community, but from a long time ago now as yeah. well. Right. Um, thank wonderful you, Mr. Guitars. Pete, for joining thank me Lee. again on one of these wonderful guitar expeditions. Oh, man, I just feel like I want to play a bit. I want to get this to know this a little bit better. I don't think they did adjust Look it. But, Mrs. Um, Hanori, he's, uh, he's going to get to know this guitar a little bit better, <laughs> I'm afraid. Uh, right, OK, well, thank you, uh, guys and girls, for watching. Uh, we'll play you out now. Please like and subscribe, and we shall see you in another video very soon.